Hey guys and welcome to Words of Scale. So the time has come for me to try the new ChatGPT Plus option. <laughs> and before I show you the prompt that's in the topic of this video, a word of caution. First of all, I don't know if it's a temporary bug or what, but once I've upgraded to this new plus option, <laughs> some of my older prompts stopped working or they worked incorrectly and I had to amend a lot of prompts. And again, I don't know if it's a temporary bug or what, but it is what it is. Secondly, when you get into this dashboard, you now have two options, which is the default one and the turbo one. So the turbo one works real fast and that's at least in my opinion the main differentiator. So the default option is more stable as opposed to the free version and doesn't crash as often. It doesn't tell you that the capacity is full, but the turbo option is much, much faster. And there are actually some videos on YouTube already comparing these two options side to side, but just take my word for it. It is very fast. And since ChatGPT does not crash as often and does not freeze as often, I decided to try something different. Maybe you know that Jasper and some other copywriting software have workflows or wizards that you use. So essentially it's a sequence of steps that you undertake in order to get the best results. And my idea for this video, for the today's video, is to try the same and write a prompt that would act as a sequence. So I t said in the past that ChatGPT is not the greatest when it comes to keyword research, since it is not connected to Google's API or any other keyword research tool API. But since more and more people and SEO professionals especially are gravitating towards the authoritativeness and the topical authority camp. I'm going to use ChatGPT just for that to build a topical map. And one of the easiest way to do that is through questions. So we'll take can dogs eat bananas <laughs> as an example. And the prompt is as follows. I want you to perform a series of steps in a consecutive order. So I'm basically asking ChatGPT to generate 20 questions, then another set of 20 questions that, that do not repeat the above. And then I'm asking ChatGPT to basically summarize all the questions. And I'm basically asking ChatGPT to filter out duplicates and semantically similar questions. And as with every significant prompt, it will be part of my prompt, ChatGPT prompt library that is available to patrons. So here we go. And I'm not going to edit anything out so you can appreciate the real time speed. I was kind of hoping that ChatGPT would run this prompt from A to Z in one go. But unfortunately, even with Turbo and the plus option, it cannot do everything in one go. So I will have to restart this prompt probably a couple of times, but it is much faster than before. And again, it doesn't crash. So we, we, we have just generated the first 20 questions about can dogs eat bananas and you can pause the screen and read through them, but they're all very relevant. So another set of 20 questions. And another. Man, this is actually uh, one of the SEO tricks that I've learned uh, just recently. So the trick is that, and yeah, we'll have to restart. So we'll say continue from the above or just the above. So the trick is that uh, we can write this giant article and we are now at step four. So ChatGPT is going to filter out duplicates and semantically uh, similar questions. So the idea again is to write this giant king-sized uh, article 
answering all these questions. And then you look at your Google Search Console. And once you're starting to, once you have started to rank for some of the keywords, and the way you can see that is you're gonna get a lot of impressions, maybe no clicks, but once you get a lot of impressions for particular keywords, that is gonna be a good indication of you being able to rank for that keyword with a full sized article. So let's continue. Continue the above. Yeah, I'm sorry, but it seems like we have already reached the maximum number of questions. If you'd like, I can try to generate more questions that are different from the ones above. So basically what ChatGPT did, it took 60 questions and left 40 of them. Let's just read through them quickly. Is it safe for dogs to eat bananas? Can dogs digest bananas? How much? Are bananas good? Can dogs be allergic? Is it okay to feed dogs banana peels? Can dogs get addicted? <laughs> I'm, I'm just trying to imagine a dog addicted to bananas. Can bananas replace dog food? That's a good one, actually. Can dogs eat dried banana? Can dogs eat banana bread? Can dogs eat bananas with yogurt? So basically, you're taking all these questions. You create a giant article. You put it on your blog and then you watch Google Search Console very closely. It is unlikely that you will be getting high rankings with this article, but you might see that, for example, you are starting to get impressions for can dogs eat bananas with honey or can dogs eat bananas with nut butter. And once you see that, it is a good indication for you to write a full article based around this keyword. Sorry, I cannot say more about the ChatGPT and its capabilities. Again, <laughs> I, don't, I haven't tested it long enough, but there are two modes, a faster one and a slower one. And again, a word of caution that uh, some of your prompts that you're used to may not work as expected once you switch to the plus option. But again, this can be of a temporary nature. So that's it. Hopefully you have liked this video so far and subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you next time.